canter and the speeds within the canter is a really important skill. And in today's exercise, we're going to be talking about how the seat functions in order to help the horse understand what pace they should be in. The canter is very much like a wave, and it's a three beat gait, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And when I'm, when I'm just going along, so I would say this canter right here for my horse is probably an ordinary canter, maybe like a five or so. If I wanted to speed him up, I would ride with a little more energy into the motion. And if I wanted to slow him down, I would sit against the motion. All the while though, I'm keeping this rolling rhythm through my body. And that's really important. So when I slow him down, I don't just quit riding. I just ride that wave back, 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 back. So it's important you keep that canter rhythm. And then same thing when I ride him forward. I'm keeping the rhythm and I roll it, roll it, roll it, forward, 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 forward. So there's a rhythm that I'm doing this within. And then when he's in the canter that I'd like him to be in, then I'm going to just maintain and I'm going to harmonize with that. So I'm quietly riding that wave in rhythm, in unity with him. So now, let me take a hold of my reins and we're going to talk about the canter. So I'm gonna bring him back and I'm gonna ride the slower canter, but I'm maintaining the rhythm. Now you'll notice we had a little moment where we weren't in unity because he ran into my reins a little bit. My leg, as I'm doing this, my leg also maintains the canter rhythm. When I'm doing this slow canter, I'm thinking about almost like if you've ever dribbled a basketball and as you're dribbling, dribbling the basketball, you've got that option to bounce the ball underneath you, right? So you can bounce it and stand in one spot and just bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. So that's how it feels in my body. I bounce my ball up and down. Now, if I wanted to have him open up his canter, I take my ball and I start bouncing it out in front. And you can see, he opens up his canter as I bounce the ball out in front. And then once I'm at that pace, I just keep bouncing that ball there. And then if I want to bring it back, I get over the top of my ball and I start bouncing it in, in place, right? Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Now, the harmony is important. So when my horse hits on the right answer, and I'm actually gonna walk here and take a little break. When my horse hits on the right answer, it's really important that I'm in unity with his feet. And I think this is something riders struggle with a little bit. And that is, they think of unity being almost like nothing, or almost like they just quit riding, that they think that that might be unity. Unity is having the body feel of whatever the speed of that particular gait that you want. So the body feel, it incorporates the rhythm. So in the canter, it's the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm still maintaining that rhythm. It also, the body feel incorporates the energy within that rhythm. So is it lively? Are we really moving? Or is it slow and contained and collected? The body feel also incorporates how far out are you pushing that in front of you, right? Are you taking that basketball down the court or are you just dribbling it right up and down here at the walk? So when you're in unity with your horse or when you're harmonizing and the harmony is letting them know they're doing the correct thing, it's not about quitting riding and just sitting there and looking pretty. What it is about is having that body feel of that canter and then when your horse comes off of that canter, so let's say we were at like a regular canter, just an ordinary working canter. If my horse came off of that ordinary canter and slowed down, then I would, I would they, this is my ball, right? And they came back here. So I would say to my ball, get out in front. And then the minute they came back up to that ordinary canter, that number five canter, I would start bouncing it straight up and down and harmonize and be like, yes, this is our rhythm. Now, if they started speeding up, I would need to sit against the motion a little bit and I'd need to start bouncing that ball back underneath me 
to bring them back. And then the minute that they were at that five canter again, I'm going to bounce it straight up and down right there in, in place.